everybody, I got something else for y'all today. Uh, it's some speakers. Normally I don't do a lot, a lot of speakers because I can't really demonstrate them for you. And especially if it did, you can't really tell the difference, you know, through all the audio and watch it on YouTube or whatever. So anyway, um, but these are a little different. These are made by Boss Audio. Yeah, they, they're the MRGB uh, 65S. And S stands for silver, so it means these speakers have a silver cover on them. And they also have 20 uh, multi illumination options. Uh, these um, speakers probably run between around 199 to 129, have a one year warranty. And they got a lot of stuff in here. This is a pretty big box just for two speakers. So let's open this box up and see what's inside. Uh, sitting down here, let's see if I can get a crushed my finger, well I say crush it, just hammered it with a hammer, trying to change my brakes out the uh, other day, so, and use the other fingers. So anyway, um, here's the lid. Uh, the first thing I see on top is a little tiny box. We'll, we'll go through this here in just a second. Uh, here is, well, the user manual. Actually, it is pretty lengthy. Uh, we also got... Uh, the limited warranty card probably wouldn't hurt to kind of go through that because even though these are marine speakers that they go bad by water it kind of voids the warranty uh, usually <laughs> anyway and right here is a uh, well not up here it's down here <laughs> is a uh, template so you can cut out the speaker hole and this is actually perforated I can you can see that right there but it's perforated so you just pop this out and uh, find out where you're sticking, drill your hole and, and mount the speaker. Kind of makes it a little easier. It looks like the hole, the, the hole over outside diameter is seven and seven and three fifths, or they went to three quarters, all the way across. So the, these speakers are a little, even though they're six and a half, the frame they're in is actually a little bigger than normal speakers. So you have to make sure that the speakers in the box here can actually fit in the in the outside location uh, first, and then, and then the the cutting hole is five and a half inches. That's how, you know, that's pretty, pretty decent hole. So anyway, that's what that's for. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out. Uh, let's see here. We have, got like several layers of tape holding this thing together. Don't do so much goodness in there, it's gonna pop out if I let it loose. Yeah, that's one of those times I should've brought my knife. All right, I'm just gonna go that far with it. Take this off here, a little plastic bag. Actually, I do like the color of the silver. It looks really silvery. So anyway, there's there's that. And let's see here. I'm going to flip this around. Go ahead and uh, show you the bottom of it when I'm undoing the second one. I still wish I had my knife. There we go. All right, there's the second one. I'm gonna set all this stuff off to the side here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna kind of zoom in a little closer. That way, I have all these on the table, and I can show you what's going on with the, this, this box right here. So I'm gonna move those over, and I'm gonna kind of zoom in a little. Closer. Okay, I'm gonna open this box up now. And and if you notice, this thing is chock full of stuff. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna try and pull one thing out at a time if I can. Uh, let's see. First thing I'm pulling out, which uh, unfortunately brings everything out. Uh, these right here is the extension cords. These are for the syncing of multiple units of these. The ones with the two wires uh, enables you to link several of these little boxes that's inside here. I'll show you in a second. To keep everything in sync. So if one's like blinking blue, you want the other one, you know. Scroll into the colors of green and purple. So that's what the sinking cord is for. Uh, this right here, the ones with the four wires on them, these are uh, the extension wires for, for the speakers to the box. That way you can have you know, one wire run this way to the right hand side, this one to the left hand side, and um, and all you gotta do is just plug them in, no soldering, no connections, no buck connectors, no tape. It just plugs it in ready to go and it's probably about Probably about 10, 15 feet in here. Uh, we got two sets of, of power wires. No, not, not power wires. Speaker wires. Sorry. <laughs> Be kind of bad to run these powers into speakers. 
Uh, here is the box. It's also silver in color. And on the box here, we got the here's the where you plug the two uh, colors in for the speakers. Um, this right here is an input and output for the syncing. So you can, like I said, you can come in from one, go into I'm not sure which one which one it is. And they come out and go into the second one, the third one, fourth one. So you just link them all together. And uh, if you really want to keep all the stuff, and then they got the power, which is black and red, just you know, off and on. What else we got in here? More stuff. I'm just going to dump it out. All right, off you can tell, but there's nothing else in there. Uh, here is the mounting screws for the speakers. Uh, here is a fuse. Uh, looks like a T-tap and some uh, a wire, and, uh, wire tie that way you can tap into some wire and get, make sure the thing is fused. And then we got the remote. As all as most all remotes and there and everything you get, you got to pull this little plastic thing out to activate the battery. All it's doing is just you know, taking insulation away so the battery can turn on. So anyway, the, that's that. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing powered up to to the speakers. And we'll see how pretty they get. Powered up here. I am going to try and show you the just a couple of different features. Things is I'm going to hit the power button on the remote and see what happens. Ah, oh, red. It was pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Um, we got on the remote. We got uh, mode positive, mode negative. We got demo, uh, speed up, speed down, different colors, up and down, and bright and negative bright. So let, let's try. The bright negative. No, that's not doing too much. Oh, there, there we go. Okay. So you just, you just hold it down. You don't have to multi press. So you see it's changing colors down to colors. Uh, green, uh, white, front burger is pink. Uh, we got. Oh, uh, let's see. Let me turn some of these lights off because I can't really see even right next to them what's going on. So, give me a second to turn all these all these lights off right quick. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off here. I'm gonna see if I can get one of these and face it towards you as best I can. I might have to hold on to it um, while I'm doing this. Uh, let's see here. We got colors, which I was going to see all kinds of different different variations of colors. All right, I'm only going to hit, uh, let's see here, mode. It's got flashing, like I said, and there's a whole bunch of different things to do with it. So it's flashing all the different colors. Uh, next mode. It's a little different, like, like it's cycling through the colors. A little thing there. Uh, that's all green, red, blue, orange. White. Oh, now cycling. Actually, going through the colors itself. Looks looks pretty cool. And now it's fading in and out on each, each color. Green, green, red, red. So it's just it's hitting each color and, and cycling. And it's more flashing or that real flashing, flashing red, flashing blue. It's actually some really bright speakers. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna do all this. I'm gonna hit the speed up and speed down. So I'm gonna speed. Slow it down. So it's doing whatever it's doing slowlier. If that's even a word. If I speed it up. There you go. Uh, demo. It just pretty much does this. Which is really crazy wild stuff. I'm hitting demo again in case there's any other features, but apparently it just going crazy while with all the colors, and it's pretty bright on me.
Let me slow this down, see what, what is it doing. But you can slow it down. Anyway, uh, that's these speakers, and uh, they're really nice. Um, you got you know, tweeters built into them, they handle oh, about 200 watts. So you can put a lamp on them if you wanted. Uh, like I said, you have to make sure that these are a little oversized speakers because of the, the basket that they're in. So, anyway, um, if you have any, any comments, just hit, hit the like button down below. Uh, thumbs up, maybe make a comment or something like that. Um, like I said, you know, these are, um, this is the Boss Audio RGB65S speakers. Uh, like I said, they run between 99 to 129, have a one year warranty. And uh, really nice and bright. Um, again, it will be a perfect exit for any boat, four wheeler, golf cart, anything. I just. Anyway, this is Paul. I appreciate y'all watching. I uh, hope you have an awesome day. And uh, please subscribe.